Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to be adding our HUD. So you can see in the bottom left of this corner, we have a little progress bar. And when I turn the flashlight on, it updates the progress bar with how much battery charge we have. And when it hits zero, it will turn off. And yeah, that's all we're going to do in this one. So should be simple. So let's hop into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to make our HUD class. So let's go into the first person folder here. We're gonna go into blueprints. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to blueprint class. We're gonna take this all classes right here. We're gonna search HUD. And we're just gonna just select this HUD right here. Select, we're just gonna call this BP underscore player HUD. And we can go ahead and open that. Can't really do anything in here quite yet, but we'll have it open for when we do get to what we need to do. So next, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go up to edit, project settings, and we're gonna go to maps and modes, and we need to drop the selected game mode down right here. And in the HUD class, we're gonna choose BP player HUD. So that'll make that our HUD class. And then the next thing we need to do is make our HUD widget so we can add it to our HUD. So we're going to right click, go down to user interface, widget blueprint, uh, user widget. We're going to call this WBP underscore HUD. And we'll go ahead and open that. We're not going to do anything in here yet, but now we're going to go back to our player HUD blueprint. And we're going to delete the event tick and the overlap here. And we're going to create widget. And the widget we're going to create is our um, widget blueprint HUD. And then we're going to promote this to a variable. We're going to call this HUD ref. And then we're just going to pull off of here. And we're going to add to viewport like that. And that should be all we need to do for now so next thing we're going to do is we'll go into our widget and we're just going to add a uh canvas panel first so we'll grab this pull this guy down here and then we're going to search for a progress bar pull that down here i'm going to anchor this to the bottom left and just hit the back arrow here on the alignment, we'll set this to 0.5 and 0.5 on both of those. And I'm going to set this to, um, it will fill from bottom to top. And then I'm just going to position this over here. <clears throat> and we'll scale this guy up a bit. Kind of get it to where you want it and we'll set our percent and we're just going to check and make sure that that is updating our hud yep as you can see we do have that progress bar in our hud now that's what we want so uh next thing we're going to do is real quick we need to add a variable to our first person character uh we're going to duplicate our flashlight charge and we're going to call this max flashlight charge compile and save and we're just going to leave that to be our our uh, same value but something you could do is we do have that that one spot in here where we checked the max or was that It in here subtract flashlight charge that's what it was yeah so in here on the max you could now just throw your max flashlight charge in there and that'll that'll be fun so uh that should be all we need to do in our player character <clears throat> or now so next we're going to i don't think we need this anymore so now we're going to go to our widget blueprint HUD. We're going to come into the uh, graph. We're going to delete the tick and the pre-construct. 
and we're gonna make a function called set flash light charge and we're going to we need to go to the event graph we're gonna pull off our construct and cast to first person cast bp first first person character we're gonna pull off of the object and get player character and then we're gonna promote this to a variable we're gonna call this player ref and then we're going to go back into our set flashlight charge here. And we're going to grab our player ref. And we're going to get flashlight charge. And let me actually go back into the designer. Let's rename this progress bar here. We'll call this um, flashlight charge progress bar. And let's go back into the graph. So let's grab our flashlight charge progress bar here and we're going to uh we're gonna set percent i'm gonna plug this guy in and we're gonna set we're gonna grab our flashlight chart and plug that into the percent like so then we're going to go back into the event graph and we're going to grab our set flashlight charge. Plug that guy in right there. And I'm just going to show you in the designer real quick. Right now our percent is set to 0.43. So it's like this. So now when we press play, it should fill on begin play. Yeah, now you can see it's full. So now what we need to do is we need to update it when we're draining our, our charge. So right now it doesn't update, it just sets it when we start the game. So now we're going to update that. So we're going to go back into the first person character. And we're actually going to make an event dispatcher to update it. Uh, a lot of people when they update, at least what you see in a lot of tutorials is when they update like progress bars and stuff like this, they typically just bind, but binding runs on tick. So this is something that will always be running. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it so that it doesn't run on tick, which is using an event dispatcher to update it when our timer is running here. So yeah, we're going to make an event dispatcher here. We're going to call this update flashlight charge. And we're just going to pull this guy in. We're going to call it and we're going to call it um we'll call it after we do all of this right here so we'll just plug it in right here before the branch and that's all we need to do there so now we need to update this in our uh our hud widget our widget so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here find an empty space we're gonna make a custom event called update flash light charge and i'm just going to go ahead and call this on the begin play so update flashlight charge just plug that guy in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our player ref and we're going to get our update flashlight charge so we're going to grab this bind event to update flashlight charge and then we're just going to plug this guy here and you can see here it needs an event, so we're going to make it another another custom event. I'm just going to duplicate this one here, and I'm going to copy the name of this one, and I'm just going to add bind to it. So paste that guy in there, just add bind to it. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get our flashlight charge progress bar, and we're going to get our player ref, and we're going to get flashlight charge get flashlight charge we're going to divide this by our max flashlight charge and then we're going to get our progress bar here we're going to set percent so just plug that guy in and there we go.
and that should work let's take a look so we hop in and we use the flashlight you can see it's draining and it's updating and that's how you can update a progress bar like that without using a uh you know by binding to the uh the way that most people do it over here where they bind to the bind the percent to the value and yeah that's pretty much going to be it for this one so and the next one what we're going to do is we're going to add like a battery system so we'll have it so that you can go around and pick up batteries and it'll replenish your uh flashlight uh for anyone who might be watching i, I guess i could show it in two different ways I guess the first way that I'll show it is that you just run over a battery and it'll fill. And the other way that I'll show it is where um, you can pick up batteries and then we'll use like a, uh, an input to use the battery when you want to. So, yeah, that's what we'll do in the next one. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. If you have any requests for tutorials you'd like to see, also let me know those down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!